Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, The Happy Travellers. If you're new, I'm Wendy and there's also Steve and Pippin, our little dog. We've been at Whitby for a week and just arrived at lovely Skipton now. So we stopped on the way at Aldi to pick up enough food to last us at least a week. So I'm going to show you what we've bought, starting with the fresh and the frozen. show you what we bought. I bought six um, pack of six kiwi fruits, which it says to ripen at home. And they were all about 79 pence, I think. And these, these flat peaches, there's six in the packet. And they were on their special... Um, offers for fruit and veg each week so they were 39 pence for six and then we got the salad tomatoes which were 49 pence I wonder if they're English ones oh no I should have checked that's very disappointing because they're from the Netherlands and we don't need to import tomatoes there's so many here and then we got avocados because we do try to eat them a lot because they're very good for us and we like them. But you've got to ripen those at home so I'm going to leave them out. And, oh this is British, the broccoli. So that's a must have. Every time I go shopping I get the broccoli and that was only 49 pence. And this is a new thing they're doing. Um, wonky mushrooms there's a big box of them but then they're British and I'm not sure how much they were um, let me just see if I can see them how much they were oh they were just just over a pound they were so that's good yeah one pound 39 so that's all the fruit and veg I think then we've got Pippin likes this so we I often buy this for her and then we end up eating it although we don't have a little bit although we don't normally eat um, meat so there's that and then we've got from the deli the cheese and onion sandwich filler I love that <laughs> actually I would have bought the egg mayonnaise one that's my favorite but I didn't see it and these two are what Steve really, really likes. They're £1.15 each. And they're so good if you're in a motorhome because they only take three minutes to cook. So that's the ham and... What's that one? Ham and cheese. And then we've got the four cheese one. So they're great. And they've got long dates on them too. Often at least a month. And as a... Just a little treat for us and for Pippa and I bought a whole cooked chicken. It was three ninety nine. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. So every last bit of this will be eaten. So nothing will go to waste because Pippin will have that. Every bit that we don't eat. Um, then we've got 15 British free range eggs because we eat at least 15 every week. Um, Steve has them most days for breakfast. And I love to have hard-boiled eggs. I believe they're very good for you. I used not to eat them because I used to think they were bad for cholesterol, but they've been proven not. Um, and then just three frozen things. Garden peas, which is an absolute must-have. And this large salmon wellington. That's a real treat. I would never have bought this before, and I, um, I wouldn't normally, but... I thought, oh, we need something really nice to eat. So it was three ninety nine, and I think it will be lovely, lovely. I hope so anyway. <laughs> and this one, that was a new thing. The Tasty Catch Southern Fried Fish Burgers. They were only one pound something, so we thought, we'll, oh, I thought we'll give them a go. There's two portions in there. Well, they're not very big, but that'll be enough, won't they? So... That's all I've got in that line. So I'm going to get this put away and then I'm going to show you the dry goods. So let's get on to the dry goods that I bought. As soon as I walked in the door, I saw some different pastas on special offer. So I got that one, falafel, I think it's called, or something like that. 
anyway um that was one pound 49 so I, I thought oh let's give that a try you know you get bored with the same old pastas and then i bought that one which is an egg pasta so it looks quite good don't they just make a change and what we'll have them with is i put that pesto in it and some feta cheese which i've already got and sweet corn and peas so uh, and then i make a big bowl full of it and it's in the fridge for a couple of days or so so got something in i bought steve this because he likes these this super nutty granola that's 179 and i always have porridge oats and i bought this to sprinkle on them because i think they're very good for me and <laughs> they're okay Ow. we don't usually buy we don't usually buy bread we just buy these wraps so i've got four packets of wraps they're about 79 pence each and they're really really nice and with that chicken you can see on the back that cooked chicken that's what we do we put salad in there and you know there's no mess and it's just easy when you're in the van I um so what else have we got oh well i thought we'd try these they're called pop outs they're popped potato snacks and i think they're gluten free so there's four servings in the bag and you they're um 105 calories so should be a bit more healthy i think than normal crisps and again i got these these inclusions because they i've never had anything made of chickpeas before so they're yoshumi i think i've heard of that brand so i'm gonna yoshu i i don't know what they're called anyway they're made of chickpeas and they're flavored with chipotle so they'll be quite hot see just something rather than salted nuts which i know is not good and then we've got two types of kiwa this is already made it this has got mung beans in it should be lovely lovely and this one is i don't know it's just two types of kiwa it's red and white so and then again i'll just add this to a salad and i think you're getting a lot of your fibers and nutrients in this they're called good grains um then what do we get oh yeah just the usual a tin of spaghetti tin of chickpeas they're only about 30 pence or something each uh the baked beans i always get the basic ones i don't notice any difference in them and of course the mushy peas which i seem to be wanting to eat every day now well i had them twice yesterday and the mushrooms got those because i'm not buying any lager at the moment um i'm drinking some diet coke instead so six cans there for one pound something some of their light mayonnaise which again i really really love i seem to have that with nearly every meal and steve has this with nearly every meal he's the ketchup king loves his ketchup for quite a while he didn't have any but it's like you know he's, he's he's having a little bit now not crazy on it with it like he used to be when i say crazy i mean um used to just have it uh, on a ketchup s sandwich and on everything so now um we've got two bottles of slimline tonic that's to have with our gin of an evening when we don't go out three packets of chews for pippin she loves these i've got the chicken ones i think what did i put yeah chicken ones tripe Oh, two packs of tripe. They go down really, really well for her. So they're only £1.69. Um, what else do we get? Oh, 
just fancy sometimes i fancy a little sweet so we got these they're mint flavored sweets now how many are they each now let me have a look um not but they're not that high in calories so they just make a nice little treat sometimes so there oh it says it on the front doesn't it a serving is how many is that let me look for you oh 167 calories but they last a long time so <laughs> so i bought those and these little packets of tissues they're so handy they're 55 pence for six packets i like the um decorations on them as well really nice and and a box of normal ones they're 99 pence these seem always expensive paper tissues so that's them then I bought for Steve, well, mainly for Steve, I thought of that, Grime Boss, because they're quite good. Heavy duty hand wipes, and I'd not seen these before. They were one ninety nine, and they're 30 extra large wipes, so, and they're two-in-one action scrub, so I'll let you know, I'll let you know how they get on. And there's no harsh chemicals on them. Oh, it's a citrus fragrance, so, and it removes the odours, so give them a shot. And... Sometimes we've had a bit of a little bit of a little smell in the van. I always think it might be the drains or something. So, and I've got some cheap hairspray and it doesn't do anything but make Pippin cough. So I thought, well, I'll go with this luxury room spray. And I've heard these are very, very good. It's number one, lime, basil and mandarin. And that was $2.99 reduced. And then I also got this room spray as well. Um because I think that'll be nice in the bedroom you know it's got bergamot in it and spicy woods so and vanilla so that's sort of like very very nice so give that a go I don't know what it'll be like and a candle so I thought well I'll just try this this was one ninety nine. oh it smells so lovely it's freesia and pear so and it's in a lovely glass pot so will be smelling really lovely in here and it will be calming i think it will soothe us and nearly last things uh, when we were traveling last week um the bottle of mouthwash fell over and went all over the bathroom so got another bottle of the six in one so that's a, that's nice i like this one and I saw someone on YouTube said that these eyewear cleaning wipes are really good for your glasses or screens or anything. So I thought, well, 99p for 50, I'll give them a go. And they're individually wrapped, so you can't go wrong, can you? And they dissolve grease, so they do my iPad and that. So that's those. And these face wipes, which are supposed to be good again, they've got all these special things in them. And they're not expensive. If you go like with the Nivea ones, they can be three pounds or something. These were only one forty nine, so well, I thought I'd get those. And last but no means least, these ones again, which I've seen people really rave about. There's sixty in there, and they were two pounds something. So I'm gonna use them because I've run out of all of these things. So I thought, well, and you know, if I see things on YouTube that people have bought, I really. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker. I think, oh, I ought to try those. And the last thing we bought, which is very, very useful now, is on the floor. So we're just going to show you that. So they just got these in new today. They sort of got some gardening things, and it's the it's called a rubber condor turf mat, and they're only one ninety nine, and you can get them in green and black. And I think they'll be really good to s stop the dirt coming in the van, all the grass because it's been cut. I'll just show you there. Yeah, it's really good, very substantial, and we can, and we can wash this off, you know, and keep it clean. Because if it if it's working well the time we're here, on our way out, I'll go back and see if I can get some more. So, looks good, doesn't it? And it's a good price. It's really strong. So for all that shopping, it came to seventy eight eighty seventy eight pounds and eighty three pence. So I think that's a pretty good haul I've got there. So now we're going to go and put this away. Um, Steve will help me and then we're going to take Pippin out because the sun's come out. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye for now. Bye.